Welcome to a new episode of each and every effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today we're going to learn how you can use deezer effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. In your voice, if the sibilance sound is very prominent, then you can use deezer effect to reduce that effect, right? So I have already made a sample clip. If I just play it back, the shell she, she, she sells she shells on the seashore. The shells she sells. So you can see there are a lot of sibilance sound here on this audio. I'll put a link in the description below of this exact sound clip so that you can download that clip and practice along with me right so i'll just click and drag this here on the timeline to import the clip and now i will go to effects panel if you don't see effects panel you have to go to here window then you can click on effects right if you click here then you'll get this panel so if you go to audio effect then you see the fourth effect which is deezer effect right so we're going to use this effect on this clip to apply the effect on your clip you have to click and drag this clip on top of your audio clip or what you can do you have to select the clip then if you double click here on this clip it will be applied on this audio clip right so if i go to window and then if i enable effects control panel then this panel will appear you can see deezer effect is available here to edit so to edit the deezer effect you have to click on edit section and this section is pretty similar like we have seen on our amplify effect which is bypass if you want to disable or bypass the effect so you can just click here also you can add keyframe here on this deezer effect and if you want to disable the effect you can click on fx icon right so you can see fx icon is crossed out so now it is not enabled if you want to enable it again click here now the deezer effect is applied right to edit the deezer you have to click here here you'll see there are some options the first one is preset you can use preset if you want suppose the audio clip on your timeline is high so you can use high voice deezer if the voice is low kind of voice then you can use low voice deezer so there are some preset that you can use the next one is mode right you can apply the effect on broadband mode or you can use multiband mode i always prefer to use multiband mode and i have gotten the best result using multiband mode and the next one is gain reduction it will indicate how much gain it has reduced when you apply the certain effect right so if i want to use the deezer effect on my audio i have to play it back she sells she shells on the she you can see the effect is engaged here Be sure the shells she sells so i'll play back the audio and after listening the audio i will change the properties as my audio needs right so I'll go here and I'll play it back. She sells, she shells on the she show. You can see here the effect is engaged. Sure. The shells she sells. So the first one is threshold. How much you want to decrease the sibilance sound. The next one is center frequency. The center frequency will indicate which portion of your audio frequency you want to attack, right? So here the center frequency is 5000. So the middle of this portion is 5000, right? So if I want to change the center frequency, I can change it just like that. And the last one is bandwidth. You can control the bandwidth, how much portion of the audio frequency you want to attack, right? So I will just tweak it a little bit. Are she sells. I'm sure for if she sells, she shells on the she. One more thing that you can do to find out the frequency that you want to attack just by enabling outputting sibilance only. So if you check this box then it will just output the sibilance sound so that you can get an exact idea right if i play it back again and change the center frequency Sure. So I have gotten the exact frequency that I want to attack. So the center frequency for my audio clip is 6621 and the bandwidth I have set to 4637. So it will vary to clip to clip for your audio maybe the number is different. So feel free to experiment and see which portion of your audio clip you want to attack right. And now to reduce the sibilance you have to decrease the threshold. So if you set it to zero it will not do anything. 
If I play it she back, she sells, she shells. She's not doing anything, right? It's so if I set it to minus 80, then it will decrease a lot. So if I play it back, she sells, she shells on the she shore. You can see the it's shells, attacking she a lot. Or she sells. So I will not apply that much. I will just reduce it to maybe minus 44 or minus 50. She sells, she shells on the maybe she shore. The Lower shells that. she sell are she sells. So if I show yep. you the before, this is the before. She sells, she shells on the she shore. And this is the after. She sells, she shells on the she shore. This is the, the before. The shells she sell are she sells. I'm this sure for if she sells, she shells on the she shore. If you want to decrease a little bit more, you can decrease it just by decreasing the threshold. But be careful when you are decreasing the threshold. If you decrease it a lot, it will lose the clarity of your voiceover right so make sure you are not decreasing that threshold a lot that is all for today i hope you have learned how you can use the deezer effect in adobe premiere pro if you have a very sibilant voice then you can use this effect which is deezer to decrease the sibilant sound of your voice so that is all for today if you have liked this video you can give me a thumbs up and if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one and then Goodbye.